hello everyone welcome to a new youtube video so in today episode i want to be talking about being an explorer and what do i mean of being an explorer it's basically how you handle uh, for example projects um files directories so on and so forth there are already a couple of um a couple of how can I say a couple of built-in things that you can do to, ma to manage everything but I mean let's be an explorer and let's explore you also have community plugins I'm gonna go over to my recommendation of plugins and why do I use them in the way that I use and so on and so forth so let's see as always I love to start with some slides so manual so what what we can do with manual so we can do things like um, column E or column and then exclamation mark touch or MKDR, whatever. So these is our comments that you run. So when you do column E, you are just um, you are just opening a new file. Column E stands for edit. So you are this is you do inside of Vim. It's not new Vim in particular. It's Vim. So these things you do whenever um, um, you are inside Vim and he, uh, it stands for edit and it means like opening a new file um, to edit or yeah, it's basically it. For the other two, whenever you have colon and exclamation mark, you are, do, you are using, um, you are just telling Vim to forward the comment to your terminal and then it will um, it will execute that command so for example when you do exclamation mark touch touch it it's a um, it's a command line uh, command that says to create a new file on it mkdir it's like create a new directory i'm gonna show you right now so i'm inside of neovim hold good neovim so if i do here and i do uh, I have auto completion because I use um, NeoVim LSP. So if I select it, this is the only file that I have in this directory. So I, I put, I can also do edit. I think that it gives me yeah, edit. It's the same thing, exactly the same thing. Oops, edit slides. And it just opens me the, um, the file that I specified on it. In this case, I've just specified to open the slides markdown which happens to be the same that I'm using for these slides. So yeah, you can you have manual, manual things that you can do. I know that it's not that interactive, but I mean, if you need to do something very quick, like sometimes I need to edit. For example, it happens for me a lot of times, instead of uh, using my, my file explorer, if I know that there's a file in another project, that I know that is there and that I know exactly the path, what is there. And I really want to quickly go to one file to see one thing that I made in there. I just use colon edit because it's faster. I know what is the, the path to, to reach there. And I open a file in another project. It's not a current project, but in another project. I mean, there are a couple of situations where you can use this uh, colon exclamation mark. It's a lot of times used to for example use compilers for example c compiler the gcc instead of uh, leaving uh, vim and then uh, execute the command and then go to vim again you can inside of vim uh, execute the command and it will compile and then you can even see the code in itself so it has more advanced use cases yeah but there's a bunch um, more comments that you can use which is out of the, the scope for this video right now. It's just, I wanted to tell you that you can be an explorer doing manual things like this. And it's good as well. Like, uh, as I told you, I use colon edit uh, a lot of times when I know the path and I wanted to be quick and go to that file in another directory. I just use colon edit. Then we have Netru. I, I hope I'm spelling it correctly, Netru. So basically, this was a plugin that was created a couple of years ago and then uh, Bram just, I think that I'm not, um, 
introducing you to some mistake but i think that bram uh like edit this and just um introduced it in vim so it's built in right now and netru is like kind of uh, a way to explore it's like a traditional file explorer it has some limitations but i mean if you don't if you don't want to use neovim or if you don't want to install any plugin you can use it so i'm going to show you now the the netru very quick um so if I open a uh, new Vim and I use, you can do either uh, column E, which is a shorthand or export, which is the, um, the name of it. And when you open, you can see in here, you have nature right there um, and the version of, of, of the plugin. And you can see what is a directory where you are and how you can sort. You have a bunch uh, of things where that, that you can use. You can actually also use the the help with the F1 and it will give you like kind of an introduction like what is the comments that you can use. You can create directories, you can um, delete directories. You can do whatever you want with it. It's, 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 really, it's really good. I mean, um, you can even use with NeoVim or now I'm gonna show you with Vim exactly vim i have no config i have nothing it's vanilla vim and yeah it opens there as well so yeah it's it's just like um like um uh, kind of uh fast introduction that if you need to do something and you don't have any plugin yeah you have it it happens that you you might already have nature out of the box and then then it's the last part it's plugins now there there are bunch uh bunch option uh, a lot of options of plugins out there that you can use it happens for me that i use d3 um i'm considering uh, on removing one of them but for now i think this three works like a shine like it's 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 really good so neo3 i use to manage the directory itself like if you if i want to have like kind of a directory with, with structuring with levels and all of that, like the traditional one that we see, for example, in VS Code and all of that codes. Oil.envim was, um, there are already a plugin on Vim as well, that it's called Vinegar. And I think that you have in Emacs, the same plugin, Vinegar. And yeah, you can uh, manipulate um, files as you was working in a buffer. I know it, it sounds like crazy, but I'm gonna show you what, what I mean with it. And then you have telescope. Telescope is like a fuzzy finder. You have FZF as well. You have uh, kind of uh, good options out there for, for fuzzy finders. I use telescope. Uh, I love telescope and you can use a bunch, a lot of extensions and all of that. I don't know why I'm saying bench today, but yeah, uh, it is what it is. So yeah, uh, now let me show you. So this is Neo3. So as I told you, well, this is not uh, an amazing, um, an amazing, I can do it in another way actually uh, here. So here, yeah, here, I have directories and in there I have in, in levels, I have kind of uh, files in levels when I open the directories. So this, I use Neo3 a lot when I when I want to um, have kind of a feeling of how this, the, the project is structured in a visual way that I, I would not have if I would do like, for example, LES in the command line so yeah, it's, it's when for, I use most of the times when I know where the file is, for example, and I want to quickly go there or if I'm in a new project and I want to first understand how the project is structured and all of that stuff, I use Neotree for that. Uh, you can also do another things. You can add files, you can see hidden files, you can hide them and all of that. And one uh, neat thing is that you can also do Git, yeah. You can open git status. In this case, I don't have nothing. You can also open it in, in floating, which I prefer to be honest. So if I do Neo3 and do git status, 
and do float it will open in a float window and in here yeah for now i don't have any git um any git repository um initialized in this directory so you don't see nothing but you'll see like uh what is the unstashed files what is the stashed files uh the commits and so on and so forth the second one that i love to use it's called oil and as i said this was like like what could be confusing for you so in here let me go to the um, to the to the directory again the one that i would that i was was um explorer so yeah in here i can do for example let's say i want to create um uh, another folder called explorer example and then inside of it i want to have um, maybe another one explorer uh, test okay so we have one directory inside of another now we can copy and paste it and now here let's say I want to have uh, another directory called uh, I don't know YouTube uh, m even better subscribe me which is kind of important as well um, oops I have a typo so so subscribe me and i can also put a file in here for example so test.lua for example and i want to also put a file inside of this one so i can do test.lua again and as you can see i'm just typing text i haven't committed any changes so this is not written yet so i'm just writing test and saying and instructing to oil.nvim what I want to do. So in this case, I want to create a bunch of directories and I want to create some files inside of those create uh, directories and that's it. And as you can see, it's so easy to instruct and to see what we are manipulating, what we are, we are, um, uh, we want to do with our directory and all of that. It, it's, it's really easy. And now if I want to apply whatever I've done, I just say that I want to write it. And boom, it will say, I'm going to create these directories. I'm going to create these files. Is this what you want? I say, okay. And boom, it, it, it completely changed. So now I have one file. I have one directory. Inside of this directory, I have a bunch of directories and one file. And if I go to the subscribe me, I have that file that I also, that I also specified. And if I do this, I can see in the other way with the new tree and we can see clearly what is the um, what what is going on and yeah this is as i told you i've discovered this uh, this plugin the oil lot and vim uh, a couple of weeks ago and i'm completely in love with it it's it's by far my favorite plugin uh, just because it's so easy to specify what we want to do the only thing that that it's not so so well but it's all the plugin it is it's as i said like if i want to have like kind of an overview of all of the directories and of that i still prefer to use neotree but it's just only in that case if i want to create files if i want to open files if i want to i don't know if i want to manipulate files i can even edit i can even uh, come here and I go here and I say I don't want this name anymore and I ha I want to have youtube.lua and I will write it and you will say that it will move is that what I want okay and it that's it it's renamed the file it's renamed exactly like this I'm writing test what is going on I'm writing test and I'm renaming files yeah that's that's what I most love in this plugin like you manipulate files and directories as you were manipulating text basically and then the last one, um, which I also use a lot, which is Fuzzy Finder. And what is Fuzzy Finder? Fuzzy Finder is that it shows me all of the files. I can say I want the, the YouTube.lua, I want the test.lua, or I can even, I don't know, find some text in it, uh, Netru. Let's see what we have here with Netru. Oh, we have two, 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 two entries of Netru in the same file. Um, I don't know there's so much things that we can do and yeah we can from from here from we can see everything that we have like we have buffers we can see buffers we can see 
key maps like key maps is also good sometimes uh, instead of using the witch key i can see the 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 key maps right here there's so so many things that you can do with the telescope and you can also add um have some other uh, extensions to it like for example code actions when i want to do code actions uh, when i want to go to like i have a uh, function that it's exported in the other file instead of going and finding the other file i can use um fuzzy finder to tell me where is the other file and to to select it and to see yeah it's i also use it a lot and this is like my three main um plugins that i use and this is how i go around the files and directories this is how i be i i am explorer in 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 NeoVim and Vim in general, like the plugins that I've shown now are, are only NeoVim specific. But as you can see, there are also options in Vim. So yeah, um, it's not like how it was a couple of uh, years ago where you had to have like kind of uh, do everything manual. Right now it's, it's like we are going to a direction, still a text editor, but we like an ID-ish uh, feeling that um, yeah I'm, I'm really pleased that I'm I use NeoVim in my daily basis and yeah that's what I most uh, love on NeoVim is that we have an amazing community that it's doing amazing plugins ah uh, by the way I forgot to show you so this is the, um, the repository for the NeoTree this is a repository for oil.nvim and this is the repository for Telescope. Um, telescope is made by a guy which I also like and admire, which is TJ. Uh, he and the Prime Asian, uh, they are really cool and they also help a lot in the community. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. As always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe the channel. It's only on that way that I can um, I can uh, grow a little bit and we can um, do an amazing community. As always, if you have any video, any suggestion of a video that you would like me to do, just uh, drop a comment below and tell uh, let me know what could be the idea that you have and I'll be more than happy if it's inside of my co uh, knowledge to help you. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it and one more time like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.